has done it again. He has found a new state park new to us, Harmony State Park, and we are in the very southwest corner of this state Indiana. We are barely in the state of Indiana. I barely. would say we're right here on the Wabash River, uh, just a few hundred yards. We could uh, go from Kentucky or Illinois. Or Indiana. There's three states down here. Yeah. So we're at Harmony State Park, as Nancy said. Um, this is an interesting area and in that once upon a time in the late 1800s, they tried to establish a utopian society down here. We're going to talk more about that in, over the next couple days, but Harmony State Park is a nice park right on the Wabash River and it's just peaceful and utopian like. <laughs> and across the street is a huge field of corn and Ed's got to walk over there because it's dry, ready to harvest and the wind is blowing through it so it crackles. Hey, let's walk around and look at this park. Hey, as you can see, the corn is ready to harvest here in Indiana. They've been harvesting a lot of it. Uh, some of it they leave sit in the fields uh, for a little while. Uh, you can always go right here at the edges and see though, most of the corn is gone because the, the uh, deer come up and eat it. But um, if you look here, you can see some ears of corn on, the, on there ready to go. As Nancy mentioned, one of the cool things is, is you can sit here and listen to the wind rustling through the leaves. I have to check out all of the stores and I just did it's okay it's connected with the park office so you know it's not big they have a few necessities but we got our sticker got our map so we're good to go come on I love this sign and it is so true this is our property and we need to take care of it. And that means don't leave your trash. You don't leave trash around your yard, I hope. So anyway, don't forget that. State parks, national parks are our property. Now we're back in the car. I want to drive through the park entrance and down here. There's a few things we want to show you. Uh, since we're right on the river, we definitely want to go down to the river. But um, the park entrance here is really nice. They've got a nice gatehouse and um, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Right now, they normally collect a fee here, but uh, right now they've got the park open because nobody's tending the gate. Well, it's we, Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and we have an annual pass, so we don't really need to pay the fee anyway. So let's run down here to the river and uh, take a look at that. as we were heading down to the river I just want to stop in here really quick it's fall and it's closed right now but this park is really well known for its pool uh, here uh, according to the reviews that this is one of the reasons why a lot of people come down here the pool is huge so they have a swimming pool and then they have a smaller wading pool so if you come here in the summer this is definitely a perk here at uh, Harmony State Park we want to stop and show you something here that's kind of unique here to Harmony State Park so there is 50 oil wells that have been drilled in Harmony State Park. Uh, you can see one right here. For some reason, the, the pump's not running right now, but um, this land that uh, the park sits on, uh, is the state does not own the mineral rights. It own, it's owned by an oil company. Uh, I don't know what the uh, legal um, ramifications of that or how they work that out. Most likely, the land was probably donated by the oil company and they just kept the mineral rights. But uh, it's pretty neat to, you know, you don't always run into oil wells in Indiana State Parks. Now, uh, this area is, there's a lot of mineral extraction going on in this area. There's a lot of coal mines as you come down, uh, especially out of Indianapolis. Uh, you see a lot of coal mines and uh, oil wells and everything. So it's not unique to the area, but um, it is unique to the state park.
We found it, the Wabash River. They have a great picnic area right on the river, playground, porty potty, like, you know, the pit We toilets. were amazed when we got down here and seen how nice this actually is. I was expecting just kind of like a river bottom area, but the picnic area here is huge. Yeah. And there has to be a hundred parking spots down here, so. And yeah. not only does this park have the river, it also has a creek, you know, which, if you like to like walk along the creek, mm -hmm. it's a really cute mm -hmm. like little creek that you can walk along. Hey, let's go down here by the river and take a look at that. It's pretty nice. Here's a story on this. So this is the Wabash River. It's 475 miles. This water has made a journey. It drains out Ohio, uh, Indiana, and parts of Illinois. And uh, in just a few miles south of here, it will dump into the Ohio River. So this journey's, this water's made a long journey. Uh, you might ask, is there any commercial navigation on this river? No. The river is really wide, but really shallow. So uh, very little uh, commercial navigation. Actually none, maybe some down at the mouth, but uh, no uh, navigation on this water. But they do use it for recreation, but you won't see a lot of power boaters out here either. Uh, just because of the fact it's, um, uh, <laughs> the big fish jumped up. <laughs> So, one of the things that, uh, that goes on down here on the Wabash River is they have an infestation of those Asian carps down here. And so, Nancy's just standing there, one of the, a big one just jumped out of the water. Um, in fact, I ran into a guy at a car wash that had, uh, had a big old airboat and they came down here for a tournament. And he had caught over 500 Asian carp with a, by shooting them with a bow. Uh, it's, it's big here. People are trying to get rid of them. I don't think the problem will get solved. But anyway, this is the Wabash River. It's very shallow, but a huge river. Just a few hundred yards there from the uh, picnic area they've got a boat ramp here and uh, just seen a guy come down and put his boat in but uh, awful chilly day to be out on the water but uh, certainly is beautiful and peaceful we found this trail Edmonds cemetery it's down this way we're gonna check it out come on trail's really pretty because leaves are changing and uh, it's nice and wide so and they're gently falling it's awesome well and i i can't look at the camera because i have to look down because we are on a horse trail and you know you can step in things. <laughs> yeah so you <laughs> you share this trail with horses so nancy's afraid she's going to step in horse poop uh we are battling herky right now he is not behaving uh pulling at the leash uh he wants to be out front it's been a while since uh we've walked him on the leash and uh he constantly wants to be in front of us so we're working on that so anyway we are walking back here to the Edmonds cemetery i have no idea where it's at we don't have a map but the trail's marked really well so we're doing pretty good well we made it we walked a mile and a half back here to this little graveyard and there's two stones and um, Elizabeth and Sarah, I'm assuming Elizabeth was the first wife because on the second stone, Sarah was the third wife. 
and Edmund is not here, so I have a theory. I'm thinking he did not have children with these two women, but he had children with his second wife, and he chose to be buried by her and not these two women. I don't know. We'll never know, but that's what I'm thinking it is. But take a look at this tree. It is amazing. We're back at the campground and we wanted to show you our little setup. We didn't do much because we're here two nights. Anyway, the trees are magnificent around here mm -hmm. and we're just enjoying it. We just met the nicest people, the camp one of the camp hosts. I think I have seen four we so far. We probably spent a half hour I, talking to them. But uh, anyway, so we're going to take you around and show you the rest of this campground. There's about 200 sites here, probably yeah. more. I did see some numbers in the 200. So yeah. uh, it is a lot bigger it's, than me. It's not as big as Brown County State mm. Park, but it is mm. it's, big it's and awesome, it's just so. as nice. Hey, uh, before we get started, let's uh, take a look at our campsite and uh, then we'll get on the road here. So this is what we do when uh, we're not gonna be someplace very long. What we do is uh, we just pretty much just drop the trailer we don't put out any awning or any decorations or anything like because we're only going to be here two nights and so you know we just didn't want to set all that up so last night it was kind of dark when we got here in fact it was really dark now that i think about it and uh we used some flashlights and backed in and pretty much just got the stabilizer jacks down and plugged in and that's about it but um we have a nice picnic bench over here and uh, we were able to cook some breakfast this morning on that uh, a lot of you guys have seen uh, tours of our van, but in case, just in case somebody is uh, just joining us new here, I'm just going to show you in here really quick. So what we have is we have this 1999 Astro van, and uh, it's been completely um, fixed up. I mean, it, it runs well, and um, I mean, for a mechanical thing that's 20-something years old, um, it does pretty well. Uh, we've converted a whole back into just for our road trips and our camping. Let me show you inside. So we got a lot of stuff just kind of thrown in here right now, but as you can see, uh, you know, we have a microwave, an ice maker. We have a heater in here that runs on diesel. I don't have it running right now, but um, this is uh, this is just our setup here. We have a bathroom, uh, uh, a portable toilet for when we're on the road trip, so uh, Nancy doesn't have to use restrooms uh, and gas stations and things. But um, it's a pretty nice setup. We just use this here, park and keep all our food in there and um, like I said today we're just really simple I've got a device on the back here where I can hook a hose and go from here to the camper in case we don't have electric we can uh, run the diesel heater in the van and um, it keeps the camper warm too so it works out pretty good um, you know at most of these campsites like we are today we're at site 28 We've got electrical plug-in, so we're just plugged in. We've got a small heater in here because um, it got down maybe upper 30s last night. Uh, so we got a 300 watt heater that we run in here. Uh, it runs on electric and that really keeps everything just fine. So, you know, we don't have any problems. This is the inside of our camper. Um, we sleep east and west in here. And uh, it's, you know, it's pretty small. There's not much to it. Um, we have a television back here with a DVD player, and we usually can watch a few uh, shows and things like that uh, before we go to bed. But as you can see, it's it's pretty simple. Um, we can use electric or not; it doesn't matter. Of course, the uh, the air conditioner uh, we're required to be plugged in, but we have a pretty nice setup here where we can run the television and everything else without that. Of course, you know we can heat it with diesel if we don't have electric. Um, we just put a few things on the front and uh, take care of take care of it that way. Um, hey, let's go around to the back. As you can see from our stickers, we've been a lot of places, and uh, we really like this camper. It's simple and lightweight; doesn't cost us much to move around. So, 
anyway that's it uh, you can see I've got a 100 watt solar panel on top uh, help keep the battery charged up although you know it's it's not a very robust solar system it just keeps our refrigerator going pretty much so anyway let's take a look around the campground um, we're pretty close to the shower house so I'm gonna walk over there I'm gonna run up here and show you this because um, there's a lot of people that watch our channel that have never camped or never been to a state park and they kind of wonder about this lifestyle so um, this is a shower house and most of the most of the state parks have places like this where you can um, you know use the restroom and the shower and things like that and um, they're usually maintained by the camp host or that so um, and always uh, like this campground is probably got five or six of these in different loops but anyway it's um, definitely a plus if you're camping in a camper so yeah you can see it's pretty nice uh, it's it's very minimalistic uh, in the bathroom here but um, got a couple of toilets and uh, over here they've got an area where you could take a shower if you want um, they have hot water and um, it works out pretty well it's not a luxurious shower you pretty much just push the button and you get a few minutes of water and then you gotta push it again but anyway if you're camping in a state park this is pretty much typical uh, some are pretty fancy and some of them are just pretty much just essentials and that's what we have here um, you know so keep in mind a lot of people when they camp they think oh man I'm not gonna get to go take a shower or whatever but now nah, they've got this all worked out for you and so yep this is it um, let's take a look at the campground some more this weekend is Halloween and so people come out at the state parks and decorate their sites and the kids come and they trick-or-treat so you have your site decorated sometimes they even dress up and they have lots of candy for the kids so let's take a look at some of those sites Hey, this is pretty interesting here uh, this first time I've seen it so right in the middle of the campground is the nature center I I really like that concept because um, all the campers can come and go out of there it's closed right now otherwise I'd take you in but um, yeah it's pretty neat I've seen something interesting under this pavilion over here let's go over All right, that wraps it up for us here. I hope that this snippet of Harmony State Park has whet your appetite to get over here and camp at this park. Uh, if you're not a camper, they have these gorgeous cabins. Look at these uh, cabins. cabins. They're, yes. they're really nice. And I think it's, you know, they're right here in the campground itself. So yeah. you can get the feel for that. Hey, this park lives up to its name because it is Harmony and Peaceful. So, yep. Hope you get a chance to visit here. Thanks for following along on our video. What do you think, Herky? Yep. He hey, wants to go for a walk. We'll see you again next week. Bye now.